Hey everybody, Kelly Sue with Cleopatra Art Studios where we teach kids and families how to paint and create together. And today I'm going to be teaching you how to paint the Easter Gnome. I know some of you are waiting for this video so that we can send you your product. <laughs> And we're getting it done today. Everything's going up this weekend. You'll have everything in time. Specifically to you, Shannon, the big winner of the last giveaway. So real quick, you're going to get a wooden gnome. It'll be pre-drawn. If you like the lines, go ahead and sharpie them. And if you don't like what we put on there, just erase it. Put your own thing. So Easter, it's a fun, fun holiday. I hope you'll join us when we do our Easter um, porch leaner. Super cute. Um, so this guy is so cute because he's got these peep type slippers on his feet and I love him. You know, the Easter eggs are pretty cute and cool and everything, but honestly, I don't have the patience to do those ones a second time. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are like me, but, um, and I know a lot of you are, and a lot of you are very patient and you, you attack your art in stages, and I'm one and done. I want to get in. I want to do my art. I want to get that good time feeling that I get from doing art. And then I want to move on to the next project. I was going to take my new the new studio, going to take the wall and make a, um, a mural. And then I said, no, there's definitely no way that's going to happen. Hello, Amazon. <laughs> Yep, so Easter is fun, and you don't just have to give candy. I mean, candy's nice. Chocolate, chocolate's nice. If you're thinking of your teacher, chocolate's awesome and fun. Um, but there's lots you can do. We have our bunny box that you can do. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for watching. Um, there's this, we have our car, our truck full of bunnies. Um, that one's a lot of fun too. What am I gonna paint with today? Well, I'm gonna make some teal. Let's make some teal. So a lot of you are like, you know, how are you servicing Maple Valley and Renton and Kent still and Issaquah and Enumclaw <laughs> and Miss Giselle, most of you know her, she still lives there and she's taking over the responsibility of squeezing out local kits for all the schools and people that live over there. She just has, you know, set pickup days because, here we go. Um, I'm sure her dad doesn't want you guys all at her house to pick up, but you know, that's just me. I'm just taking that guess. Um, I'm not going to do red. So I'm going to do kind of like the new fangled, um, color palette instead of, uh, red, yellow, and blue. Um, a lot of artists have substituted red for quinacrinone magenta. And I got to tell you, it makes fabulous orange, beautiful scarlets. Yeah, maybe I'm going to put a little red there, um, too. And just, we're going to make our own colors today. So if you have a limited number of paints that you have, this is a great thing to do. So painting on wood, if you do, do this on your own, you'll want to sand the edges. If you've done one of our other projects, you can just flip it over. You got a freebie and this is a free project for you. You can purchase these from us with the stand for $30 or if you have a a handy person in the household who's handy with a saw, they can cut it for you and just follow along. So I'm gonna make the gray, no, let's make the teal first. Let's start with something fun. So teal is cerulean blue and just a little bit of yellow. There's so much blue in here. If you go too far into the yellow side, you've already taken it to green. So I am just going to mix a little bit of yellow with my cerulean blue. And that might have been too much. And then you're going to add some white to it. Ooh, that's pretty, guys. So you could go down the craft aisle and you could buy a zillion little bottles. And I have a, a, a bucket here of it um, to make yourself happy. And that's completely fine. Go ahead and go for it. I typically have artist colors um, in the little squeeze bottle more than I do those little bottles. And they're fun. I really love those little bottles but they just don't have enough for me. I'm normally squeezing out paints for 100 people, 50, 100 people. There's just not enough juice in those bottles. <laughs> They're so little. 
So, and if you think you're saving money on them, you're not, um, because they're two dollars for two ounces, um, two dollars and some cents. This is four ninety nine for four ounces, so it's about the same. So it's just a matter of coating, and you guys can see what I need to do there. I need to add a little bit of water to my paint to get it to flow, just a little bit. These guys are super cute. They've been, I don't want to say they're our top seller, uh, but just because gnomes are just on trend this year, they're just so cute. Which is funny. But these furry little guys <laughs> are so interesting to us. So I'm sure, um, so the studio now has, instead of being my living room, I actually get a room in the house, in the new house, and it's open um, on this side and right behind me. So the dogs like to do loops through <laughs> the room, the rescue bassets. So um, you probably will get a visit from a rescue basset today. They'll hear my voice and think we're either going for a walk or that there's a snack involved. Hey, Sid, are you right there? So I hear someone's TV on. So thanks for asking. Everyone's been asking about the move. It's gone great. My mom, we moved uh, like literally a week ago. And my mom and dad came the next day. So I got to see, I told you guys, my mom isn't, um, she's a little ill. So it's just been wonderful to be next to her. And they came to see us already. The first weekend we were here, we were scrambling. We were scrambling, you guys. But we got in there, we got it all done. Well, not really, we're still kind of living out of some boxes. You know, those boxes you pack and you move them with you and you're like, four years later, you're like, what's in those boxes? When you should probably minimize a little bit. So I do recommend you paint around the sides. What paintbrushes to use when you're painting on wood? Not your best, guys. Definitely not your best. So we're hoping to get the last of our Easter projects out the door and shipped to you by Monday. Except our friends in Florida, they're gonna, we're gonna ship those tomorrow so that they have an extra day to get there. I mean, I know it says like three days or two days, but with that freaky snowstorm that hit Texas and the Plains area, I had a friend that didn't get her stuff in Florida for almost 10 days. She's like, um, are you mad at me? <laughs> no. And uh, then we have our Harry Potter art camp coming up for spring break. Doesn't matter when your spring break is because you can just download the videos at any time. We have some moms in that one. Just need to make a little bit extra. So don't put too much yellow in. You guys can see the difference here. I put a little bit too much yellow in. That's okay. It's this paint. I'm gonna go over it with a little blue and white. So making teal, it's really difficult to make it with dark phthalo blue. So I recommend sticking to the medium um, bodied or hued cerulean. It's a blue hue. It's lovely. And a lot of the painting uh, paintings we've done lately have been with the substitute of magenta instead of red. It gives it a whole new look. So you definitely want to paint around. The edges are rough, so this is where it starts eating up your paintbrush just a little bit. So you could take your finger and finger paint that if you wanted to. So how are you guys doing today? Hey guys, thanks for watching. Oh, it's nice to see you. And if you do a good enough job the first time, if, you're, if everything lines up right, if your paints are um, have a decent a quality to them, coverage quality, and 
you know, there's some good flow. You're using a good paintbrush, not too good because it's wood. Um, you might only have to do that one time. Now, remember I said I wasn't gonna do the eggs this time. I just don't have the patience in me. They're cute, don't get me wrong, they are cute. I'm just adding some streaks that I know I'm gonna like. And I love, love, love painting on wood. So many of you guys have our bunny bed or bunny box coming. You get one of the wooden bunnies, the canvas and their hand already pre-sketched. And then you get a ceramic egg. We're gonna ship those on Monday. And we are now in Spokane. So it shouldn't take too long to get to all my friends still in Maple Valley and uh, Western Washington, or even my Oregon friends. I love the streaks. Now remember, it's not gonna look like right until we put the sealer on. Ooh, skin tone. So kind of decide what kind of skin tone you want your gnome to be. Maybe he's paper white like me. Maybe he's got that luscious mocha. Oh, thanks, Brenda. Maybe he's got that lush um, dark chocolate skin. Think about what you want to use color-wise. I forgot to put some out. I'm going to just use some burnt sienna and some white. So when I have done the darker skin gnome, I like to adjust my, my beard so it's not so gray, so that the contrast is still there. Booby trapped. And this is one of those colors you're gonna have to give two coats to. And if you had a different brown, a craft brown that you wanted to use, by all means, go ahead and use that. I know you're like, get to those stinking cute peep bunnies, lady. And we're, we're getting there. I'm going to make some gray for the beard. Gray is wow. Miss Sydney was helping in the studio yesterday. <laughs> that black was really runny. So gray is white with just a little bit of black. I wonder what else she did while she was playing in the studio. And just gonna put in the base coat on the beard. And it works best if you go around everything. Some of you have showed me your gnomes that you have painted for either Christmas and or Valentine's and or St. Patrick's Day. And they're amazing. Oops splatter um some of you have braided little like dreads in the hair with beads on the end come on that's just so cute so where do you get these you can get them from us if you have a handy fella or if you're handy yourself with a with a saw blade um you can go ahead and do that that's not me my husband does all this for me I come up with the wacky ideas like, what if we did this? And he's kind enough to go, okay, honey, I'll pick up, he's so kind to say, I'll pick up a whole bunch of tools and do that for you. He'll, he'll sacrifice and take one for the team. <laughs> I'm gonna go around my bunny ears. Now, if you love this kind of stuff, you might want to get on our wait list for our adult art subscription box. We're getting ready to open it. We're going to open it to our art, or our wait list first. And I got to tell you, the wait list is full of mamas from the kids box. They were just so happy with the kids box. But they're tired of begging their kids for a project. <laughs> Please, can I have a project? No. <laughs> Um, we'll have a couple different options. 
One would be just maybe the wood and we're still working it out. And one would be a canvas, the wood, and a special, little special project. I know what the first one is. I could tell you. I can totally tell you guys, but I'm waiting. I gotta let the wait list know first. I'll give you a sneak peek next week. So just gonna go in there and do the first coat of the beard and it's covering up the brown, the brown material. It is MDF board. Um, I did try to use particle board at first. Um, just the country girl in me wanted a real natural product. <laughs> hey guys, <laughs> without the bunny feet. That's fine, you can do it without the bunny feet. Oh, <laughs> um, so Brenda, the gnome and stand is $30 and you can do, whoops, many different holidays on the back or the front. Um, it will come drawn with the bunny feet, but you can just erase it and do your own thing. And that's because my girls won't know which, which board to put in, which uh, project to put in which box. So they'll just do them all the same. Make sure you go around the side. Thanks for asking, Brenda. These art kits definitely keep, up, keep us alive. So it's a little easier just to use your finger and get in there unless you had a real special cruddy brush that you've been saving for such, such a, a project. You can do this one or the foam brush that um, has maybe one or two uses and then it's a toss out. So one of these brushes are really good for getting into the crevices. And the wood's gonna eat up the foam right away. So that's why I'm gonna go with my Walmart special paintbrush, and it's doing fabulous. Let's give the Walmart special paintbrush just a thumbs up. It's been waiting to play. It's like, put me in coach. Finally, finally something it's good at. <laughs> it's been sitting there in paintbrush purgatory, waiting for its chance. And now it's just like, woo, I get to play. You're gonna use more paint than you think on that first coat of wood. And then the second coat, if you put a second coat on, not so much. It's just gonna be covered already, the wood grain. And so then it goes really quickly. Ta-da, so cute. It's the time we've all been waiting for the Peeps Bunny Slippers. Now I know Brenda, they're not for everyone, but they were for me. I was like all over it. <laughs> so Quinacrino Magenta is the star of the show. I'm gonna add some white to it. And they give paint colors such difficult names anymore. Come on, people. It's a bluish pink. So you can make it yourself. Quinacrinum magenta is two parts red, one part or less of the blue. So right before it turns purple. Oh, it's beautiful. The black is starting to head that way. So when you paint over your Sharpie line, the Sharpie line will show a little bit. So that's why I said if you like the lines that we have drawn, Sharpie over your line. It doesn't have to be a Sharpie. Mine is, I gave up on Sharpies a long time ago. You know, when I have 50 students in the, in the studio and they're all just destroying <laughs> the Sharpies left and right. Um, I've been going with Amazon Shuttle Art and these ones I'm very happy with. They last a really good time, a good length of time and you get 30 in a package for 13 bucks something like that come on sharpies oh yep so brenda i'm glad you like the bunny slippers too i my misunderstanding i didn't understand yep so you got the back side and if you didn't want easter at all you just erase it 
This, we just use a really light pencil line because remember we have a lot of younger kids and then beginning painters also, and they wanna feel successful, so we make it easy. <laughs> I get it, yep. So, um, Brenda, are you a Seahawks fan? Because we did the original one at Christmas time for, for Hawks, for Hawks fans. Um, or if you were not a Seahawks fan, you could put a different team on there. And I was thinking the same thing. Wouldn't it be nice to have it out all year long? Now, don't forget, they have these kiss boots on. <laughs> Why? Well, it's so that we can stand them up. It's a little insert at the bottom. You could go pink all the way down. I just chose not to. You could glue these together, but what I find is it's really nice to just be able to put them away for the holiday. Maybe you use both holidays and you only have one gnome and you're not ready. Your piggy bank says, don't buy another gnome just yet. <laughs> um, they're easy to store, which is great. It doesn't take a lot of real estate. So you guys are asking great questions today. So I won't um, paint it the second time with you guys here, just because you'd like to see the finished project. You don't really need to hang out with me. No, you get to hang out with me. No, you don't really need to hang out with me while I give everything a second coat except for the beard because we're going to talk about hair so you definitely want to go around the sides in the color that is coordinating with what's happening on the front so i feel like i'm going to angle this down a little bit i keep picking it up let's angle it down just a little bit and i'll move closer boom and just get this done like I said, don't forget, don't don't judge me because of my black guys. That that wasn't me. Miss Sydney. You can add some magenta and blend right on the wood. If you feel like, gosh, it's too um, dark, you can just go in with the white and blend it. And then I'm gonna pick up the black. And do the bottom. It's Kelly Sue, you didn't clean my paintbrush, your paintbrush. I know, but this is just the base coat. It can be slightly grayish. Remember, you're gonna give everything a second coat if you were to paint this. Going around the sides. On the inside. Almost looks like he's got knee highs on and um, skater boots. <laughs> Guys, it's the 70s. They want their skater boots back. <laughs> All right, so the beard. I said I would just do a second coat on the beard. Um, I'm just gonna pick up some white and black on my paintbrush at the same time. And I'm going to do long, flowy brush strokes to mimic hair, just the texture of the hair. If you feel like maybe you went with a darker skin tone and you wanted your um, beard to pop a little bit or your nose to pop, I would adjust my hair, his beard, to be a little bit lighter. So I'm just double loading. Became popular in the um, impressionist movement, picking up more than one color on your paintbrush at one time. So we always have the gnomes. We came up with them in November, we always have them. They're perfect for, um, like the Senior Center has done them. Uh, they're perfect for scouts, they're perfect for families to get together. What not to do with them, you're gonna seal them so they'd be okay on a porch if it was protected. But I would not put these in your garden unless you have a plan because they're wood and this wood likes to swell 
if it sees a lot of water. So if you did some marine grade spray, that would be okay. Most likely. <laughs> My Seattle friends, I'm not 100% sure if you'd be okay doing that. Okay, I'm going to just work up in my striped really quick. I'm gonna use my filbert. I'm gonna pick up some white and some quinacridone magenta. Ooh, you know what, yeah. We're gonna go with that. I was gonna go with scarlet, but that's not very um, easterly. Eastery. I said you have um, a couple more days to give us a verbal order for the gnome or for the um, bunny box. And it's so cute. And uh, everything will go out on Monday, except if you live far away. And then we're gonna get them out to you this, you know, probably Friday, probably tomorrow. Cause it's not any fun getting your Easter projects after Easter, friends. <laughs> and then what's our next major holiday? Is it 4th of July? I mean, I guess you could say, yeah, 4th of July probably, huh? Well, Mother's Day. Hey, if you're a mama, what would you like? What would you like the kids to make you or what kind of projects would you like if you were a mama? If you're a mama. If you're not a mama, but you still want to tell me what kind of projects. Yeah, um, Brenda, yeah, we'll ship it to Kent. Now it's Washington, so of course there's tax. <laughs> Can't get out of that. So yeah, just asking what kind of projects you think you guys might want. You know, are you ready for some summer? Are you ready for a little beachy? We are gonna paint our um, bunny porch leaner here very soon. Just getting close to my ribbon. So you wanna take time and go through all the nooks and crannies. And now it's detail time. So that's where we're gonna put the face on, we're gonna play around with the beard, we're gonna outline, we're gonna do all the things that make this cute little gnome, this cute little gnome, minus the Easter eggs, cause we don't have that kind of time. Um, so Brenda, you could just give a shout out to me or just send me a message because you're going to want to give me your mailing address and your invoice will come in the form of an email. So I'll need your email address too, Brenda. I know I have it here somewhere, um, but <laughs> I'm not allowed to touch the computer very often. <laughs> All right. So in the beard, I'm just going to, I like to do these little, these little curly cues. And your paint needs to be flowy. So a little bit of water on your paintbrush. You don't want it dripping, guys. Just gonna do some of those little curly cues in his beard. I wanna outline his nose. Very adorable. Hey, Sid. She keeps walking away. I'm gonna have her bring up the bottle to spray. If you order this from us, you get a little container of sealer and it's a gloss sealer. And that helps make the gnome shiny, but protects it from spills and protects it. Hey, Tammy, and protects your gnome from, oh, just like the weather, sun, it helps protect it. Um, I didn't know if you knew this, but UV rays, you know, kind of can dull um, acrylics over time. So it protects against that. And I'm gonna just put on the face of my bunny, my bunny peep slippers. I'm gonna use my country voice here. Hey, Sid! Can you get the bottle of spray from my desk down in the kitchen? Yeah. Thanks, babe. <laughs> That's okay. 
I told everybody there's two ways to get into the studio. And normally they get a dog, they walk up the stairs, they see I don't have food, they walk back down the stairs. <laughs> it's a circus, y'all. Gonna give them a couple eyes. I like to dip and dot the eyes. It's hard for a paintbrush to do a circle, a small circle. And I'm going to draw a heart for the nose. My kids are so loud. Ta-da! Thank you so much. You're the best. I know. Let's talk about the watery black, though. <laughs> watery black. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. All right. So I'm just going to finish the face on this guy. Yeah, I'd say she was playing around in the supplies yesterday. So cute. Now we will um, take this um, recording and turn it into, you know, just a supporting video for people that have purchased this um, product from us. So you're not going alone and you don't have to worry about finding this video again. We'll just send it to you. Boop, boop. Super cute. What did I do for the nose? I came in with a dash of white on the top and a dash of the burnt sienna. So Brenda, if you're still on, you also, oh good. You also, the paints come too. So we'll just send the paints and a little container to sealer too. So you'll be set, ready to go. So the ribbon, I just flipped my paintbrush upside down, made sure I had a nice little pile of white. You can see that white and black was the colors we used the most of, just like in any project. I'm gonna flip my paintbrush upside down and I just did dots all along. Oh my gosh, guys, pour yourself a glass of your favorite beverage and do this while you're watching a show because 40 hours later, I finished my last dot and I was like, wow, it really was cool that I added these dots, but, um, you know, I could have used some, <laughs> you know, something to drink to get through that. So you're going to just, um, go up on either side, on both sides of the ribbon, if you have the same style as me. You can draw yourself some eggs and decorate them any way you want, but as you can see, it's not necessary. It's still super cute. Um, you have the other side to be a different holiday. Maybe you really love St. Patrick's Day. Maybe you really want a, um, a patriotic um, gnome. They're very cute. So finally, what you wanna do is after it's dry, and it comes with a stand, so you'll wanna, I just wiped brown on here and then wiped it off for this one. This one is teal and black, did the same thing. I painted it and then wiped it off so I could still see the grain, I really wanted that. Um, it's very cool. So the last step would be if you have um, spray at home, and I like triple thick, but bless, Mr. John's heart, he went to the store for me <laughs> and he did not come back with triple thick. He came back with the polycrylic, which is still very fine. In fact, that's what you're gonna end up having is we send you the liquid polycrylic and high gloss and you'll take this outside and um, paint it outside. Or, or no, I'm sorry, you spray it outside because of the fume off, but inside you can just paint it. Uh, but make sure everything is completely dry and that makes it super shiny. And it'll just be a little container. And I don't think I have one with me right now. Because we, as you know, we moved. <laughs> I don't know where anything is. Oh my gosh. Um, so we'd like to get these in the mail by Monday for sure to you guys. So you have them with a couple days to get them ready for Easter. They look fabulous on your table, on a table runner. They do. They look really, really cute. So if you want one, just give a shout out, message us, and make sure you include your email and your mailing address so we can get these out to you. Um, but if you have a handy fella at home, you can just borrow this uh, design idea if you wanted to. So I'm going to scooch down and say have a good day, everybody. Uh, see you soon, hopefully. Bye.